Hi you guys, this reading is for Pisces, September 2020. Start off with a song or a quote. You have the black keys, lengths. See the moonlight shining on your window pane. You have the hive. Structures, organization, natural order, a controlled existence, home base, the familial. Something about home, the moon, a window, maybe getting clarity on something. You have the vault, security. And you have the bee eater. Flourish by asking for the help of the powerful. So you be secure and asking for help. The vault symbolizes security and safety. This card is wonderful for security and relationships. Stability always follows this card. There may be a need to keep some information close to your chest. It can also show a person who has too many boundaries. And for the bee eater. If bee Eater has written into your cards. She counsels you not to struggle in vain, but instead not only to accept help when it is offered, but also to ask for the assistance of those more powerful than yourself. Why be foolishly proud when, like Bee Eater, you could thrive? So there's somebody around you that... Probably is a worker bee that you could ask help from or give help to. Might be a secret that you or them need help. But you're secure in asking these powerful people for help or you're the powerful person that is going to be asked for help. What's going on with Pisces right now? You have the Six of Swords. So thinking of an unconventional solution to a problem. What's Pisces thinking about? You have the Knight of Swords wanting to rush into somewhere with the message. You have the Eight of Pentacles in your foundation. Maybe it's a work from home situation in the past. Ace of Swords. And in the future, the Chariot. So there's movement, there could be a journey, an escape, some kind of travel, the Six of Swords and the Chariot, and the Knight of Swords. Something about a truth coming out in the past. I know the lengths is about, I believe, the length someone's willing to go to hide a lie. Maybe the truth came out. Maybe it's a home-based travel business, home-based communications business, could be something to do with the travel industry. The hive again is structures, organization, natural order, a controlled existence, 
home base the familial. Maybe you're more secure at home than you realize. All right, let's clarify. For the Six of Swords, we've got the Page of Swords. Maybe travel with an air sign. Maybe an air sign's watching you travel. Maybe you're watching an air sign travel in your head with the Knight of Swords. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. So rushing in about work, a message about work. It's the Eight of Pentacles twice. It's definitely work on the mind. And your foundation with the Eight of Pentacles, you've got the Knight of Cups. So there's some intimacy here. Maybe a co-worker, intimacy with the co-worker. Uh, for the Ace of Swords, you've got King of Swords. Somebody telling the truth and then Cutting something out, truth coming out like the moon, shining through somebody's window pane. And for the chariot, we've got the king of wands. So confidently traveling, two kings could be something to do with a child. Maybe a child is traveling for work reasons. Um, maybe somebody's traveling for intimate reasons, but there's something to do with a council about a child. Maybe overseeing one of your children's cars. Could be you and a spouse, you and an ex, speaking of a child. Maybe trying to set up security with work or home for a child. And you need to ask somebody powerful for help. Let's get an advice card for you. First, tell me what this work twice is about. Love. So it could be travel for love, travel to love, travel with a love. And there's intimacy. It's something to do with work. One advice card for Pisces, please. We've got the Lord of Lore. It speaks of renewal. Maybe travel brings some renewal. The Lord of Lore it says, I bestow the gift of renewal. When things look dead, you can bring new life out of the dark. Some questions you might want to ask yourself. What ethical action is needed? How can you be true? <coughs> Excuse me. What needs renewal? What has, what has to be finalized or discontinued? What fear grips you? What story dispels fear? What needs to move on? What needs renewal? Let's get one card for the renewal. Mm. 
What is this renewal about? Wine, Queen of Wands. Renew your cheerfulness and gaiety. So a renewal of yourself. Maybe going out for drinks with the Queen of Wands. Making wine. That's kind of weird. The bowl seems similar. Could be um, a female fire sign. Sun, moon, rising. Venus. Maybe she's your key to the renewal. Good luck, Pisces.